Hey, every single week, UIC and youth pastors around the nation are responsible for giving their kids in Bible studies thousands and thousands of chips. Today we wanted to find out what is the best chip, and we're going to decide that today on the UIC show. Welcome to the UIC show. We're so glad you're here. We're going to find out today who is the potato chip king. So we had 32 chips that we started with. We whittled it down to 16 with our staff. And now Brent and I, we're going to taste some chips and we're going to figure out which one's best. I just want to clarify. Yeah. We're not just doing potato chips because I think potato chips are all in all could be more True. inferior to a corn chip. So we're just saying chips, right? Okay, we can say because, chips. Because you sounded yeah. biased by starting off saying the potato <laughs> chip king. That's right. And I'm saying chip king. The we're chip just going, king, okay. What is the chip snack that we're going I mean, with? If you want to get down to it, we don't have kettle cooked chips. We don't have Ooh, uh, we don't true. have the Hawaiian chips in this. I was a little upset so that there was no kettle representation. We could just call list. it the Chip Meister. I don't know. <laughs> chip Meister. Uh, chip Meister. Yeah. Jomel, anything before we get started on this episode? No, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you're watching this right now, um, hopefully you have your bracket filled out and you are following along um, because uh, on some of our social medias, we might be doing a little bit pr of a prize uh, with a game for whoever's watching this and who has the closest bracket submitted to us before it airs. So if you're filling it in now, that's cheating. It doesn't count. Um, but we're going to start with our number one seed going up against our number 16 seed. So our number one seed, I think, is... I don't, I don't tell me which one it is because that might taint my, my beliefs. Really? But you have the list right there. In I'm front not of you. looking. I'm not okay. reading. Okay. Not I want to okay. take them natural. And I just oh. want to like... So, I mean, you can say whatever you want. Okay. I'm just saying I don't want to know which okay. one. You don't want to know. I don't know which one is number 16 and which one is number one. I want to know what my taste buds say. Okay. okay. I don't care about your opinion. I want my opinion. That's fair. All right. I do have to say it, though, for, yeah. the, uh, for the segment. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I so, won't listen. Yeah, Wait, cover, I, yeah, I covered my ears covering with... with <laughs> with earphones in. Go ahead. You I'm know, okay. I that's be, how you know you're watching the unedited version of the UIC show. I can be open-minded. Okay. So, yeah, again, and I just want to clarify, as we do this, I want you, as, as the hosts, the judges here, to do your best to go into everything, abandoning all of your preconceived Wipe biases, your you know, ignore your childhood. Free of, your mind. Free your mind. <laughs> yeah, forget about your childhood oh. and your traumatic experiences that you've had with other chips. Bugles. And, yes. <laughs> I know you have a good bugle story for us. Uh, there are no bugles in our top 16. Um, Amen. Brent has a bias against them. But we are going to go into this fresh. So even if you've thought your whole life, I've always hated these, you taste it. If it resonates with you today. We have some liquid to clean our palate yeah. in between. Yes. I, I got a Mountain Dew because oh, if I'll a chip it. doesn't taste good with a Mountain Dew, then I don't What's want anything to do with Yeah, I, I don't want I, anything I to do with that chip. So. And I think it also really fits the theme of youth pastors. Yeah, and, of course. Um, now in and kidney stones. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be a oh, different goodness. episode. Oh, yeah, Youth Pastors and Kidney Stones will be the title of the I have episode. had one. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> That's a great story. Okay. All right, so what are we doing here? Let's do it. All right, you guys ready? Round one, our number one seed, Cheetos Flamin' Hot against our number 16 seed, Fritos Flavor Twist Honey Barbecue. I think I'm going to start with the number 16. Yeah, I'm going to start actually. with the non-hot so I can get more, tape, more, more flavor out of it. There you go. That was that's a good a, crunch. It's a really good crunch. It is a good crunch, and it's a good taste. That hurt my tooth. I'm, su I'm surprised. It's I'm surprised it's number sixteen. Really, I'm surprised. I, I think it would. Be. I'm surprised. Kevin you think? Horn, Kevin you don't like it? Make it. I, well, I'll, I'll tell you this. Um, I go into. Uh, I, I'm a big chip guy because I work at four schools. Two of them are elementary schools, so uh, I don't bring pizza to those schools. I bring chips, and uh, every time I have Fritos, um, they are usually the the last ones to get picked up by the kids. I've seen that as well. I yeah. echo that sentiment. But, the but did you have Fritos Flavor Twist Honey Barbecue? Because I bet you if Ooh, you had you this know, one, it would go quicker. Mixed, most of the mixed packs don't come with that. It you're comes right. with like your regular standard Frito. I think you're right. And that's the one that gets last. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe uh, I'll have to All right. Are we doing number two? In. Yeah. Go yeah ahead I, already, I already did it. And speaking of your story, these are banned at most of the junior highs and, high, oh, and, yeah. and grade schools that I go to. Yep. Really? Because the kids were eating them so much. The red was on their fingers. It got on all the books. It got on all the light switches, all the bathrooms. And they actually banned them. And we got in trouble for UIC I taking have. them to a school yep. and said that's the only chip that we weren't allowed to bring. That's hilarious. Well, I had no idea. I've been no bringing them No Flamin' Hot anything. If you want another story about Flamin' Hot Cheetos that has nothing to do with schools, <laughs> this was the one thing my wife wanted for the first pregnancy. And let's just say that, that there was a pile of red stuff somewhere one time that I found. <laughs> because she threw it up? Yep. <laughs> oh, I know. I was like, I, I didn't I know where like, that story was, I was going. Like, I was like, where did that come from? <laughs> yeah. 
pile. It was it was on the way to one of the uh, the doctor's appointments. <laughs> she just had to get out of the car. I know and, it's well, not probably not a good thing for. Well, maybe I've got the taste buds of a pregnant woman, but I, I'm just. I, I love this. Fun. Oh yeah, the fun. UIC staff voted at number one for a reason. Oh yeah, um, so, they're there's, delicious. There's, I mean, so what are we doing? There how is we, a competition here. All right, but, I but. want you guys to say your favorite. When no, no, no buzzer today. <laughs> I win. Um, on three, I want you guys to say your favorite. Ready? One, two, three. Flaming, Flaming hot, hot Cheetos. Yep. Flaming Hot Cheetos is yep. moving okay. on. Moving on. All right, for our second round, we're going to have our number eight seed, Lay's Barbecue, going against our number nine seed. Doritos spicy nacho. This is going to be a, a tight one. Eight versus nine. Eight That's nine. right. But I have no idea why these two are this close and how yeah. Lay's are on top of Doritos. Are you trying? I'm starting with number nine, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going to go with the nine. lower seed. I'm going with the less hot. Not as good of a crunch. No. It's good, though. There's some sweetness. It's a good flavor. I don't hate that. Okay. Okay. Lay's barbecue is nice. Lay's barbecue. All right. Good initial. We got spicy nacho now. Spicy nacho Doritos. Not the normal nacho. Spicy nacho. So I'm just having a moment with my Doritos, but Brent, I'm that not was mad. adorable. It was such a genuine moment. Like, like I'm looking at you and I'm like, he's somewhere else right now. Yep. And he was having a genuine I was just thinking I was at a party, eating some nachos and drinking some yep. Mountain Dew. Like it's a good day. That's I, hilarious. I I think I even like this spicy nacho better than nacho cheese Doritos. Ooh. And nacho Hot cheese take. is pretty high up there, so well, we'll I'd have to try them next other. year. I always, I normally tend to like spice, so I think I'm ready. I'm but sorry. I'm ready. All I mean, right, let's get our vote going on in three, two, one. Spicy nachos. Spicy nachos. Spicy nachos. There you go. Spicy nine. nachos. Nine. Moving That's on. the nine seed beating the eight seed right there. There you go. First upset. Cinderella story. <laughs> I don't know if eight nine is really the yeah, Cinderella upset. <laughs> You're right. Let's cut that line out. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny. Leave it in. What's our we'll next see. two? For our third round, we are going to have number five, Takis Fuego. Going up against number 12, Funyuns. This is going to be an interesting one. This is going to be a rough one. I now, think this could be our first tiebreaker. I'm just. Oh, we might, might have a tiebreaker going on be, here? Uh, I'm predicting that. I'll tell you this. I know for a fact that the, kids, the kids we minister to are going to have a very different opinion than we might have on this one. Very true. Because that's okay. I haven't our, met anyone you know under. Our, pa- our for, palates are more developed. Exactly. For a, for a Funyun, that doesn't taste bad. Right? Funyun. For a Funyun? Yeah. Funyun. What, do they taste different? No, Funyuns normally speak to me like like drunken after a party, going to 7-Eleven, trying to get something in your munchy stomach. Mm. Not that I would know about all that, but I just, yeah, I just, it's. Every youth pastor pretty has a past. Everybody's, every pastor has a, has a story. I haven't yeah. had Takis in a while, and man, I th- those are good. Takis are good. You already did one too? I did one. Let's see. So, But you guys are digging the Takis as well. I think that's like every 12-year-old favorite. This is a tough round, and, oh, right. it's, and it's five on 12. All right, let me say this. Let me say this. If they made a flaming Hot to- uh, they do. Funyun, they do. They do. I would be more inclined to say yes because I'm not hating what I'm tasting. Okay. Even though mentally I don't normally like Funyuns, um, I'm not hating what I'm tasting. But you cleared your mind. All right. <laughs> I am cleared. The All right. And, and whatever will follow. All right, let's, let's see. Let's go see what go. goes down. On three, two, one. Bunions. I got talkie still. All right. Still we know what that means. Crunch. We need a tiebreaker, Joe. We need a tiebreaker. That means I get a tie-breaker. snack. <laughs> yeah. And poof, magically, here comes the chips uh, at the judges t- or at the um, sound table. And uh, here's a tiebreaker. Let's see. All right. Let's see. I'll, I'll, I guess I'll do the same thing you guys did and start with the non spicy. Start with yeah. the bunion. Then we get the taste. That's a good crunch. I, now that I can hear it, it's a great crunch. I like, I like hearing the crunch. Yeah. Onions is one of those flavors that you don't appreciate until you're older. I, I've always liked Funyuns, even when I was young. Really? So. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Like a ranch? I really like Funyuns, but I do like these two. Yeah, Takis are good, bro. Oh, but that crunch. The, the that's crunch a, that's is a, That's bigger. a harder crunch, yeah. Yep. And I just like the hot. And that lime aftertaste. Wow. Yeah. It, it's a tough round, and it's 5 on 12. Wow. Funyuns. I can't believe I'm saying this because I'm busting my own bracket. And I think the reason why I went into this thinking that I'd prefer the Funyuns, fun fact, if you ever get Takis – in Canada, they are way less spicy. Whatever they ship to Canada, they tone down. I think it doesn't fit like their regulations. Canadians, eh? Yeah, and I haven't had an American talkie in, in too long. But I have to say, busting my own bracket, I'm going to go with the talkie. Oh, yeah! wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. sorry. I, 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 honestly, I went into it thinking I was going to pick the No, funny. No Cinderella story here. Not, not yet. Oh, but my these goodness. are also talk- talkies fuego. So maybe you don't get Fuego up there. No, it's labeled get... Fuego. That's normal. It's just way less. I think that they have different regulations. All right. It's a fun fact for you there. All right. Got it. This next round is going to be 
pretty easy, I would you think assume. so. Okay, well, let's oh. see what happens. Let's see what goes down. Yeah, hey, I'm trying to clear my mind here, but I just threw up in my mouth just looking at the second <laughs> choice right now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, All right, well, well let me hilarious. go ahead and introduce it for our fourth <laughs> round. Number four, Cheetos Puffs, going against number 13, Sun Chips Originals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Wait, so which offended. one do you not like? Uh, <laughs> so what are you no, trying first? I'm going to try, I'm gonna try the Sun Chips. Clear your mind. I am trying. Uh-huh. <laughs> Get out of it. You have you didn't give it a chance. There's there's no chance for for sun chips. To be fair, the, the other like flavors are better. Harvest cheddar sun chips. I mean, garden I salsa. Like you know what? If I was starving, so good. If there's nothing else to eat. We'd enjoy a funny. And I had a gallon of salsa to eat with that bag right there. I could do that. I, it's not horrible. It just tastes like wheat. It tastes like I'm eating yeah. like a bread substitute. That's true. Smashed down flat and yep. dried in the sun. I mean, do I even need to taste this one? My heart stings a little bit. Sorry, right. man. Right? Mm. I hey, I got love for the... Hey, if, if you can't be with the one you love, then love, love the, love the one, one you're with. with. Is it just me? But sometimes Cheetos just always taste like they're just a little bit stale sometimes. Yeah, a little bit. You, you get that? Yeah. yeah. Huh. That taste, though. All right. So I think the some answer bags, is obvious. Some bags might be like crisper because these just seem like the, yeah. the Cheetos stuff is like... Like soften the outside of it a little bit where it doesn't crunch like it, it should. If you're a youth pastor and yeah. you're a Sun Chip fan, please mention in the comments that you are with Joe hey, Mel and Jesse. We love you, Joe Mel and Jesse. They're on. They're on the team. You can still partner with Everybody's us. Everybody's voice matters, and we want you to tell us if you like Sun Chips. All right. So let me. It's gonna. I, we have to do it just for the sake of consistency. But three, two, one. Cheetos pops. Cheetos, Cheetos oh, pops yeah, is course. moving on. Yep. All right. Going into our fifth round, we're going to have our number three seed, Doritos Cool Ranch. Going up against our number 14 seed, Pringles Original. Alrighty. For some so, reason, I don't have very many Doritos. Oh, wait. It only takes one to, only takes one to taste. Going, starting with the Pringles. Starting with the lower seed. Got a little spillage going on on mm. Brent's side. See, this is the part that I don't enjoy because <laughs> these are in categories for me different. Like, I mm. would put a Pringles in a potato category, and then I'd want to put all the corn ones in a corn category to find out which one was best in their category. Because this doesn't seem fair to the Pringle. And I love me some Pringles. I'm sorry. We don't have that kind of budget here. I understand. <laughs> I'm just saying there's better Pringles than original. So it's, it's not fair that it's going up against one of the greatest Doritos of all time. And that's, that's not even an opinion. That's how seating. That's I mean, a scientific fact. Bring it up to the people at March Madness. I mean, that's just how seating works. I mean, top schools in the nation go against that Christian school that barely squeezed in, you know. Like, but hey, that's what, that's yeah, what makes Yeah, but God it. is with them. Sometimes. <laughs> Not when they get blown out like 90 to 30. Oh, God the- is still with them. He's with them in their misery. That's true. He's developing their character. I know. Oh, I, I don't even know what to say. This next round. All right. Three, two, one. I'm going upset here. <gasps> Are you serious? I'm going Pringles. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to let Joe Mel decide I did not one. think I'd have to get into this, but let's go watch the chips magically appear. I'm not, here's, here's, I'm not scared. Here's the thing, man. It's a scientific Dorito, fact. Doritos Cool Ranch is probably my least favorite Dorito. How is that impossible? I, I, I don't know. I, just, I don't think I've ever met a non-Cool Ranch Dorito lover. I'm not saying I don't like it. I, I think I like this better is what I'm saying. Oh, so still, we're going to hey, find out. I love and respect right. We're going to find out here. All right. The chips are going to magically appear in front of me in three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> gotta love it gotta love the magic at uc all right i didn't think we'd be doing this you want to share with me well let's let's start with the pringles you want jesse get, get in here grab grab a pringle for oh, me no, no, I'm okay, I'm okay. oh that's how bad they are <laughs> oh wow <laughs> you're right pringles are good they're good they're, they're good they're, they're, they're good. good they're a good i mean uh, yeah i almost ate another chip. one but that's I, just me being fat i love pringles but there's just so many flavors there yeah i know but I, th- I think I think if I, there's a Cool Ranch Pringle, then it might get to, to my, me. It might my get thing it. is like, there's is the, is it too much flavor? No, I, no, not at all. That's I, like saying, I'm is sorry. there too much chocolate? Is there too much love? There's definitely too much chocolate. Is, is, is there, there too, too much, much ice cream? You could place? definitely have too much chocolate. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is an easy one for me. It's Cool Ranch okay. all the way. I'm That's fine. I, cool I'm not I'm right. not mad about that. I'm okay with it. I but I just wanted to thank you for the extra. I wanted snack. to spice it up a little bit. Yeah. You, know? hey, you I wanted to feed that. me. I told Chris ahead of time. I was like, you know, the more tiebreakers we have, the more I get to eat, and I'm kind of hungry. So the more this fun. works out. Yep. I'm kind of cheering well, for I'll you guys to with disagree. everything from here on out, yeah. just so you can get it. But so I can get a, yeah, very very clear. Get a lunch going. All right, you guys ready for our sixth round? Here we go. Round six, the number six seed Cheetos Cheddar Jalapeno going against our number eleven seed Chester's Flamin' Hot Fries. So Jesse just learned this today. Chester's Flamin' Hot Fries are not 11. labeled as a Cheeto. This one, it's not. That's right. This yeah. one's the number six. So if you want to start with you're the, going uh, with the higher seed. 
Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter how you. Well, actually, spice. they're both spicy. They're going spicy. These they're are, both spicy. Yeah, but the cheddar jalapeno are normally less spicy than true. The, I'm gonna have another Pringle while I, I see. while you guys debate. I do like Chester's fries. They are good. This is like a brother to the the flaming hot Cheetos flaming hot. Mm-hmm. Uh, Everyone calls them hot Cheetos, but they're not technically called hot Cheetos. So what's it gonna be? Let's get a three, two, one going. No, ready? no, no! Oh. I'm not ready yet. You're not ready. Oh, I'm this sorry. This is this is a tough round, and it's six on eleven. That's I'd say a, a double digit seed. That would be a Cinderella story. This is a tough one. Mm, that's a good combo. I don't know. All right, I, I think I'm ready. Okay. All right. I, I need it. Three, two, one. I'm going Chester. Wow. Okay. I get another snack. You get another snack. Another snack, bro. All right, and it's gonna magically appear in front of me in three, two, one. <laughs> Ta-da! Movie magic, people. All right, let's see. Uh, start with jalapeno. I, I do buy a pack that does include the jalapeno, and uh, they are popular among the kiddos. They are yummy. Those Chester's fries are good, too. I, I was surprised you picked that one. I like hot stuff. You think that's hotter than the yeah. cheddar jalapeno? Yeah, because mm. t- after I ate this, that's what I did. And I, I, took it, yeah. I ate this, and I ate By this, and I didn't taste this at all. Wow, okay. Which one's hotter, Joe Mel? Well, I just tried the jalapeno. The jalapeno, I think, is more of a slow burn. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not, a slow it's burn. It's a strong flavor. Yeah, I think the hot fries hits you, hits you faster with the spice, but kind of fizzles. The, the, the Cheeto is a slow it, burn. It burns. I like the texture it of, burns, of, the, it burns of good. the Chester's fries. Jelly. I do. Those are good. I like the yeah. crunch. Maybe you could get a These cheddar jalapeno fry. That'd be good. That'd be a very hard one for me. That'd you be know, good. The word of God says for everything, there is a time and a season. Amen. And, um, you know, crunch I like that. is usually always superior. But every now and then, there is a time and a season where you need the variety of texture of a hot fry. So I have to go hot fry for this. Oh, Man. wow. We have an upset. I agree. We have an upset. That's number cool. 11 has moved on. And this was what? That was number six. You guys took that Bible reference really seriously. <laughs> I, yeah, you're right. Amen. I didn't know where we were going with that. I was like, I what, thought, well, thought, we can't argue with the Bible. So I was uh, like, yeah, well, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a chip drop right there. It's true. I thought you were so focused on the chips. I thought you were talking about our conversation about a time and a season for a cheddar oh. jalapeno I, I fry. Thought, I thought he was too. That's what I thought you were going I mean, for. I, was just, I, was really, I really thought that I would pick the Cheeto just because I love crunch. I love – Yeah. But there's just something about the fry that, I, yeah, you need that variety. It's a different, I mean, it's yeah. different than the rest. Like, they're, it's a very unique, it's almost like the Taki. The Taki's got a different texture yeah. and flavor than the rest, so yep. I'm, All right. I'm not mad. Now for our seventh round, we're going to see our number seven seed, Cheetos Crunchy, go against our number ten seed, Pringles Barbecue. The OG of Cheetos. Let's see, we got number ten Pringles. Pringles Barbecue. I think I like the more unique Pringle flavors better. Like I get the pizza Pringle. Oh, or yeah. Like those like random unique like seasonal yeah. ones they come out with. You guys are probably going to hate me for this statement, but I will always think Lay's are superior to Pringles. Wow. And that's why they're not on this list. Dude, once you pop, the fun don't stop. <laughs> oh. You know what we haven't been doing? Is that a good or a bad? I just like – I already like Pringles. Okay. That's true. And so Pringles with the flavor, I was like taking it to the next level. Yeah. This might be unfair, so, but have we, have you, either of you eaten more than one Pringle at a time yet? Because that's the way you eat Pringles. Oh, yeah. You don't eat one Pringle at a time. You've got to stack them. Yeah, well, I think you might have to do a stack, you too. Gotta just do to the, be, you got to do, like, the, I like the, crisp the duck. The duck, duck bill, bill, yeah. you got a duck yeah. bill. <laughs> that's definitely more fun. <laughs> yeah, but you, when you eat two at a time, that's a game changer. Two this, Pringles at a time. This is my first two at a time Pringle I've ever had. Ever? What? I don't what do What kind it. of childhood did you have? Wow. One that was scarce, and we <laughs> eat one Pringle because you might not get another one for another two or three years. Wow. wow. That's so, you save the Pringle. You savor the Pringle. You lick the flavor off of it <laughs> and just hold it. I want to get Brent's parents on this show to verify. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's right. I lied. That didn't happen. Mom, thanks for the Pringles. <laughs> Jamel, I was going to save this for later, but oh gosh, I, I thought it was an act of criminality that the Pringles barbecue did not make it to That's, the top six. Is that you the mean pizza? Pringles, Pringles pizza. Pringles pizza. That's what he wants. Give him one of those. I know what I'm saying. Wait. I you... thought it was an act of criminality. That, Pop, so that his fun doesn't Pringles stop. Pringles pizza yeah. did not make it to the top 16. Pringles pizza. So I brought my own my Wow. Own did we vote for that? I voted for it, and it was pretty high on I would have voted. I would have voted for a heart on my list, too. Well, Ooh, you know, I kind of clumped didn't. all my Pringles together, but it, well, that was definitely the highest Pringles I would on my pop list. it right now, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to 
mess with my mind. On we, have a, we have a lot of chips in the room. We don't yeah. want to mess that I think up. we have more than enough chips in this room. All right. So our winner, uh, you, are you guys ready oh, for a pick? Oh, wait. No, we haven't yeah. even. I'm ready. Got into the classic. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, wow. Okay. Very ready. All right. right here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. Right. We got Jonah another one. Gets another we got another one. Not even close. All right. So this another snack is going to appear in front of me in three, two, one. And here we go. We got a barbecue Pringle. Now, is it unfair for me to eat two at a time and judge it based off of that? No. Why would that That's be unfair? You, you eat them how you want. You're right. You're you right. could eat two Cheetos at a time. I'm going to put the whole thing in my mouth at once, by the way. Do it. I do eat them that way. I'm going to practice that again. You practice. It's the way Pringles are meant to be eaten. I like, the del- I like the delicate crunch. I don't want to talk about how they're formed. Why not? Why is that? You don't it, like the form of it? Like well, the perfect? Yeah, but they're the not. like form. In some potatoes, you're getting like a potato chip that's actually a chip. This is like a paste that's squirted into oh, a it's mold. Oh, disgusting, yeah. And then it becomes these because everyone's exactly the same. Yeah. And then they're all ta- uniform. And then it tastes delicious. And, it's, and it does taste <laughs> delicious. But I'm just saying, I, I, I don't, I'm, we're not talking about how it's created. Yeah. What's the saying? Never, never see how the hot dog's made or something like that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't want to um, see that. I have my mind made. Um, right. Yes. What's Pringles, our winner? Pringles are much better when you stack them and flavor them. Hmm. But they're not pizza, and I'm just not a big barbecue flavor Thank guy. You. So it's going to have to be the Cheetos. Ooh, all right. Cheetos moving through. All right. I'm a little upset, but I'm going to eat another Pringle in defiance. If, That's fair. If the pizza had yeah, been in, more than enough. If the pizza had been in, I would have picked it. That pizza might have been an underdog over the Cheetos. Yes, absolutely. So it's a flavor thing, not a texture thing. Oh, not a texture thing at all. Yeah, I think it's got to be. It's just a flavor thing. I don't like barbecue flavored things. Maybe that's why I'm not a big fan of the Fritos flavor twist either. Oh, maybe okay. if that was a different flavor, I would. See, I think I think that argument can be made on a couple of these rounds. That's true. If there was a different flavor comp- going head to head, that's true. We're just doing. Hey, we're doing what you guys asked us to do according to your scores. This is your fault. Well, it's our staff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Whoever else watching. <laughs> our eighth round, last but not least, we have our number two, Doritos Nacho Cheese, going head to head with our number 15, Fritos Original. All right. So these are at least corn against corn. Yeah. But then it's not true. fair because now it's flavor against not. So I think there's two things happening here. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm back at my party. <laughs> there you go. Have we both tried both? This isn't even All right, a we got to yep. speed things up just a little bit just to get the whole competition in time. Right. But let's go three, two, one. Doritos. Of course. Doritos is moving on. That was an obvious one. I didn't see the Doritos uh, missing that. Sorry to stop you right there. We wanted to cut for time, and we're going to put part two of the Chip Champion 2020 uh, on next week on our YouTube. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit those notifications. Come back next week on Friday, and we'll be back to crown the 2020 Chip Champion. Right? Yeah, he flexes. He's like, oh, yeah. I'm so sore about working out yesterday. Did you see my pecs oh, man. and my shoes?